Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. This is a message to my Muslim brothers and sisters, likewise to the all non-Muslims, uh, concerning the issue or the event that occurred in New Zealand. And all it's very shocking news, very sad what happened in that country. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy upon those who have passed away from the al-musallun, you know, subhanAllah, uh, pure innocent people in a place, a place of uh, a peaceful place, place of secu a place of uh, security, place of uh, uh, worship. And you see someone, they were, they were there without any weapons, nothing, just worshiping their Lord, praying to their Lord, the Lord of Abraham and Moses and Jesus and Muhammad. May Allah peace and blessings be upon them all. So, there's one thing we have to understand. I'm going to read out a tweet from my uh, beloved brother, may Allah bless him, Musa Richardson, Ustad Musa Richardson. Because what we have to understand that, alhamdulillah, that evil man, terrorist, satanic follower, he does not represent the Australian population. Likewise, we have here in Britain, okay, British people are beautiful people, good people. So those guys, the likes of EDO, and other than them, Tommy Robinson, they do not represent British people. Alhamdulillah, I've been in this country for over a decade. I met lots of, lots of, lots of beautiful English people, helpful people, very um, kind, and so on. So uh, we have to be uh, adjust. We should not generalize this from our deen. We should not remove oppression with oppression. So these events, as usual, in every evil event, there is evil people try to utilize it to incite hatred, hatred against innocent people. For example, when this uh, terrorist ISIS or Shabab do something, the Islamic haters, uh, the far right, the extremists in the West, they will try to they will try to utilize the event to incite hatred against the Muslims, innocent people. Okay, by saying, "Look, they are terrorists." No, we Muslims are free from that. Likewise, we believe that the Western people or the, or the European people, they're, generally speaking, they have nothing to do with these evil people. They have nothing to do with, with them. Rather, as we've been watching uh, or seen on the uh, uh, social network, there is, alhamdulillah, from both sides, from the Muslims and the non-Muslims, standing together against this evil, uh, refuting it, condemning it, and that is something which is uh, please us. You know, so this now, because it's been carried out by a far right extremist terrorist, some ex Muslim extremist terrorists, the likes of ISIS and other them, they will try to utilize that to incite hatred and guess the Europeans or the non-Muslims, claiming that all of them are same. That is not true. That's a lie. Alhamdulillah, those evil people in the West, far right and extremists and terrorists are very few. Likewise, amongst the Muslims. So he mentions here Musa Richardson, ISIS and other deviant Karajite groups play on the people's emotion and might use this evil event to gain followers at least sympathizes. Do not respond to oppression with support of a deviant like ISIS. Now, do not respond to them because they will try to utilize this event to incite hatred and guess the Europeans or the non-Muslims claiming that they all of them are safe and that is not true. So we have two people here, subhanAllah, when you analyze and you look at their excuses and justification for supporting extremists and terrorists, both of them say, from the Muslim side, the terrorists and extremists, they say, look, there is a war in Iraq, there is a war in this, therefore the Europeans hate us, they want to kill every Muslim, which is not true. Then on the other side, when the terrorists, from so-called Islamic terrorists, uh, carry out evil act, then you have Islamic haters, terrorists, uh, far right. They will say to the to the people in the West, look, the Muslim are terrorists, and they want to kill all of us. All both of them, they share the same mentality. So it's for, it's for us, from the Muslims and the non-Muslims, to free ourselves from them and to stand and guess them. Okay. So we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to save us and to uh, remove these evil people from our countries, from the Muslim countries, or from the non-Muslim countries. 
because these people do not represent the West, likewise the uh, people in the West, likewise they don't represent the Muslims, the Muslim people. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned it clearly in the Quran, وَلَا تُفْسِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ بَعْدَ إِصْلَاحِهَا Do not cause mischief upon the earth after it has been uh, uh, rectified. Allah clearly and severely warned and guessed, causing and spreading mischief. Rather than Islam, those who cause and spread mischief in the, in, in the, in, in, upon the land, upon the earth, they have a severe punishment because they don't care about people's life. They don't care about the environment. So we finish with this and uh, may Allah uh, have mercy upon those who have passed away and may Allah give sabr to their family. Subhanakallah bihamdik. Shadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Wa sallallahu nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Wa sallam salimah kathira.